Brought to you by GTA. We start with you. I have heard and I have seen of, of uh, access to fentanyl and also um, other um, opioid pills that are being laced with fentanyl. And um, we're really trying to push. Vice Speaker Talena Nelson wiping away tears, passionately calling for more action on the opioid crisis. It's a national impact. Um, we've been trying to uh, get uh, some assistance with the Allied Health Board to pass legislation to uh, limit the amount of prescriptions for opioid and also um, education for individuals who are prescribed opioid and also requiring prescribers, doctors to go into the system and see uh, the history of the patient to ensure that they're not doctor shopping. She wants to stop the cycle of abuse. I hope that as we move forward, um, that we start looking and prioritizing really where our money is going to go. I mean, it's nice to have Hagania Revitalization Restoration Program, but I'd rather see that go into behavioral health. Behavioral Health and Wellness Director Therese Ariola echoes the passionate plea. The New Beginnings uh, uh, Division is the Drug and Alcohol Division. Um, we have, we're here, we've been here, we do outreach and we do partnerships with other nonprofit organizations, or not other, nonprofit organizations on Guam such as Sanctuary for the Youth, such as Salvation Army and Oasis for adult female and male population. Sergeant Paul Tapao joins the call for unity on the issue. Moving towards community-oriented policing and doing prevention and partnership with non nonprofit organization and of course working with the families. We've done this before and we're gonna to continue to do it as, as we move forward with a new norm with uh, COVID. For Guam's News Network, I'm Tomas Manglonia. Brought to you by GTA, we start with you.